and welcome along and welcome back to Meadow Grove Farm. Today, uh, we're heading down to our new grass fields. So, field three is currently being handled by the class axion. Um, it is, uh, it is being, um, uh, it's being subsoiled. Uh, so that field should be ready for us to plant along with field two next time. So we're going to, we're going to be on the class, uh, next time on there. Uh, for now though, what we're doing is, uh, is we've got these three new grass fields, uh, that we purchased a couple of episodes ago and we, we're going to get them cut. Uh, we're going to get some, uh, hay made from them. Uh, because what we want to do is, uh, is yeah, we want to top up our hay. And once we top that up, what we can do is, uh, and hopefully get these fields then fertilised and uh, and doing a, a much larger yield than we will get off them this time, uh, is we should be able to uh, to then make a whole load of um, silage off them. So that's that's what we're aiming for. Uh, these fields were unbelievably cheap for three fields. Uh, I am absolutely amazed we got them for what we got them for. Uh, I'm also, I've run a little bit of a test with this uh, Maxim. And uh, and it does seem to be able to handle these mowers. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping that's going to work fine. That gate is not going to close with where that is. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get these cut. and uh, And hopefully... Uh, we're going to cut them, we're going to um, uh, then ted them and uh, and make some... Why did that not close? Ah! Uh, we're going to cut them, we're going to ted them and we're going to make some um, some hay. And uh, in doing so, yeah, keep our cows fed and keep our cows generating milk. Which we do, as I said last time, and we do have quite a contingent or quite a large amount of milk uh, ready to be sold. So we have got to do that at some point as well. Now, first, I'm going to turn on my rear mower. Switch to my front mower. Turn that on as well. Drop it down. And hopefully that should drop the rear one as well. Yeah, there we go. Much easier for us to do it this way. And yeah, this is cut. This is cutting really well, this tractor with this mower, these mowers. Uh, I expected a bigger issue. I can't remember... If we've used this tractor with these mowers before, I think we may have, um, and and my worries may have been a bit unfounded, uh, but uh, certainly this is having no issue with this field at all. And these fields, for the considering the size, considering we sold uh, the two fields we sold to then sort ourselves out and get field three, we've got a lot of field here. We have an awful lot of field here for the for the money that we spent. So I'm uh, I'm really quite pleased uh, with how this is turning out. We are going to have to sort these corners out. Uh, turning this way around the field, that is what the problem is with this. We should probably have had our other uh, our other mower on uh, on the outside. It would have come in behind us and caught these bits. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is all good. This is this is actually I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, we will get, uh, as I said, we'll get this field cut. Oh, come on. And we may not pick up the bales this time. Uh, we'll see how we go time-wise. Uh, but it's quite a lot we have to do with this. I'm I'm actually fairly tempted, seeing how much we've got here, to not necessarily do, uh, to do all three of these fields in hay. Because this is a lot. Right, I'm going to go round the other way now because it actually turns out that uh, we're better off going the other way round. So long as we can uh, make sure that our rear mower is covering everything. And in fact, that will cover more than we covered then. Reverse this up. Make sure we get all of this. And then we can pivot ourselves... Uh, into the right place should we need to. That is going to get all of that, isn't it? Brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Side mower on the outside. Make sure that we uh, keep that going. And then when we turn the corner, while it goes slightly thinner, we do end up swinging round and actually catching everything and not leaving any grass in the corners. 
uh, which is brilliant. Uh, this corner I am going to turn around because we did leave a huge amount. Uh, but the other thing is, if we turn around this way, we still get all the grass because of where that mower is. So uh, that is, uh, this is definitely the way around to go around the field. Uh, definitely the route to take. And, uh, ooh. Just going to reverse up a bit, get that bit, and we'll get the bit over the side here as well. There we go. So yeah, it takes no time at all to get this field cut. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is with this field cut, we will head over and uh, we'll go and get the tedder. Once we've got the tedder. Well, I'll get the other two fields cut uh, and then we'll go and do the tedder. And what we'll do is we'll do each of these jobs on one of these fields separately. So uh, we'll do the cutting on this field, we will do the tedding on field 49, and we'll do the rowing on field... Actually, we'll do the tedding on field 51, and we'll do the rowing on field uh, 49. And that will then cover these three fields uh, with a different job on each. Actually, it's a lot easier to do it from this angle. Wow, that's easier. And, uh, and yeah, that will then cover everything. But this is, this is a much bigger field than we had earlier. So I'm really pleased. Uh, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. We're back down here now with the tedder. And, uh, and I've teddered the other two fields. We're going to get this last one done now. Ooh, once we get this unfolded. Uh, it's coming along nicely. I think we're going to have a nice amount of uh, a nice amount of grass off these two uh, off these three fields. Uh, certainly going to be uh, left with quite a bit of. Uh, oh no, we've not placed our oh, tether down. Let's get that down. Yeah, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to have a nice amount of grass, a nice amount of hay off here. Uh, it should do us quite uh, quite well, keep our cows fed for quite a while, while we continue to build up our um, our silage and keep uh, piling up our silage pit. Uh, we will do silage off this field, grass uh, silage off these three fields, uh, once they've regrown, uh, and we'll make sure that they're fully fertilised and fully set up, uh, so we maximise what we do off that. I might require lime. Um, I don't know actually. How are these? Uh, so these need plowing and need lime. I doubt. Uh, the needs plowing on grass normally doesn't hold for very long. So uh, I'm not expecting to have to replow these fields. But we might. Um, but uh, yeah, in general, uh, it's not too big a deal. Um, the the replow. Uh, I'm quite happy with this. It's uh, It's coming along very well. Uh, and uh, and yeah, we should get. Uh, I don't know how many bales we're going to get off here. More than eight, which is more than our thing holds. Um, our axion, as you can see, has finished its work. So what we're going to do is uh, is we're going to finish getting this field tethered up. And uh, and once we've got this tethered, we're going to come back down here with our windrower, and then get this field uh, windrowed up as well. And then uh, today as well, get it bailed and hopefully get them collected up and returned to the farm. So, uh, yeah, let's get that. Let's get back down here with the windrower once this field is complete. Uh, I have windrowed up this field and the far field. So both 51 and 49 are done. Uh, we're now going to go around and just finish off by doing field 50 here. Uh, with this all windrowed up. Uh, that's basically what I'm after, or what I want to do this video. Uh, it is, uh, it's great. We have, we have a huge amount of hay off here. I wasn't expecting these three fields to produce quite as much hay as we have. Uh, which is, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased. Um, I'd love to try and take these, uh, to take these hedges down and make a much bigger field out of these. But... Uh, it's, uh, I don't think it's really doable. Uh, well, it's not doable. If it was, uh, if it was Mercury Farms rather than Metagrove, 
uh, than absolutely it would be. Um, but uh, yeah, we're not we're not here on a map here that's uh, that's really got uh, lots of deletable and removable hedges, uh, which actually is not a bad thing. Uh, but it is just one of those things where we've got three fantastic fields here. We could massively build into one. Having said that. You know, you've got several other fields around here. So you've got field 52, the other side of the hedge here. Field 64, 63. You know, there's a whole load of stuff around here. A whole load of fields around here that, uh, oh, under the right circumstances, could be made into one. If you had... I'm going to close that gate. Uh, if you were to... Uh, if you were able to take the uh, hedges down. So, uh, yeah, I quite like that you can't. Uh, I, I think that adds to the charm of the map that you need to manage these uh, these smaller fields. And uh, and as I said, we are getting quite a big amount of hay off here. I think this is going to do us for a while, which is brilliant. Because what we want to do, uh, as I said earlier, is uh, once we've got this done, uh, we want to um, we want to go and get the uh, we want to fertilize these fields get these all up to scratch and uh, and then we're gonna do a whole load of silage down here so uh yeah we're gonna fill up our silage clamp probably uh, a couple of runs off here with the silage uh but uh yeah i'm gonna be looking to uh to fertilize and actually somebody suggested there's an amazon roller on the mod hub so uh, I think I'm going to download that and give that a try and uh, and we'll see how we go with that as far as fertilizing these go. I think that's a really realistic way for us to fertilize these fields. Uh, you know, to uh, we'll see if we can get some slurry on here and we'll see if we can get uh, the fields rolled as well. And I think that will then be uh, a really, really great way for us to uh, to get these ready for silage later on. Uh, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, the grass on here should regrow fairly quickly. Um, we'll just keep an eye on it while we're doing our other fields. Uh, we need to get our fields replanted, of course. So that will be coming up. And uh, and yeah, so plenty to be doing here still on Meadow Grove. Uh, and we are now moving very nicely forward on this series. I'm really pleased that we... Uh, I'm really pleased we sold those two grass fields, actually. It's... It's got us moving uh, again, and uh, that's always the danger. And I think looking for, uh, looking, uh, going forward in general, that is definitely something to look at if you're playing this, and you're going, oh, I'm not, I'm not moving forwards. Switch things up, switch your fields round, see if you can, uh, see if you can get yourself a new perspective on the map. And if you can do that, then uh, then yeah, you should get yourself going again. This is a very dirty windrow at this point, but that's okay. Uh, expect nothing less uh, when we're doing a whole load of grass work. Uh, so that's all good. And, uh, and yeah, we've almost finished up this field now. And as I said, there is a lot of hay piled in these rows. Uh, it is going to be a good time bailing this. So we're going to get this. Uh, we're going to get our fields planted next, I think, um, and then we'll be back down here. Uh, we'll get this all baled up and collected. A fair amount of uh, of hay down here we should keep us going for a while with our cows, uh, which is all good news uh, because, of course, that is what we're feeding the cows at the moment. And uh, and yeah, once we. Uh, once we've got this re-fertilized and resorted, uh, we'll be in a position where we'll be able to sort that. And everything will be uh, good and fine and dandy. So let's fold this up. We're going to jump out uh, because this is where we're going to end this video. Uh, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.